Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I wanted to just take you through my garden and show you what's going on. But while I'm doing that, I wanted to show you some hacks that I'm doing this year to just really start having an overproduced garden. I really wanted that this year. It's a way to save in the kitchen and the plan this year was to grow most of our food, but of course there's uh, meat and cheeses and things like that that we need. So I'm gonna throw in a little clearance grocery haul with this as well and yeah just show you our day we have some potatoes that we need to be getting so I think we're gonna start with that and yeah we're gonna go back in time to yesterday and show you what I've been doing to a garden bed that is lacking nitrogen so if you're into that kind of thing definitely stay tuned hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will link all of the books that I've been getting this information from I've been getting questions everything is linked in the description box if you can't find that just shoot me an email and I can send you the link that way but I have been prioritizing literature when it comes to preparedness and I have been learning so much about my area so if you have not had the chance to do that definitely start doing that and without further ado let's get to these potatoes all right we have emmy out here yeah. yeah we're just doing some things in the garden today oh a grasshopper got on her but uh we are gonna grab some of these potatoes they're ready to go we're gonna dump them over and see what we can get right guys yeah. yep oh bless you em okay here we go oh, a butterfly. ready like this one two Three. Jump them over. Well, what's that one? I don't know. Why do we have to uh, jump them over? Because I bet you there will be some spuds in here. What do you spuds? Oh. <gasps> Look! Don't touch any of them yet. What are we going to do? Huh? What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, let me get a basket, okay? So if you all have been here for a while, you know that Delilah and Wilder actually planted these seed potatoes. So it's very exciting. I have a container here. We are not going to brush too much dirt off of it. Uh, just none because uh, we want to keep these. But you will see that I have some drainage in there. You'll want that. But all right, kids, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Look, I found some. Yeah, put them in here. Gentle. We're not going to throw them. Here we go. Here's one. Yeah. Do you think there's some? Oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. Think there's some more down here? Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. I found some. Oh my goodness. Uh, more, more. <laughs> this is the best part about growing <laughs> potatoes. And I will say those grow bags are so easy. You just <laughs> you just fill it up with soil and they're good to go. So we have all shapes and sizes. Of course, you're never gonna have a perfect harvest, but I will say one of my neighbors is like the uh, head of the farm whatever league out here and his cash crop was potatoes so i took a lot of what he had to say and it was really helpful so oh my goodness yeah very exciting day and then that one we can do tomorrow yahoo cool beans so we ended up taking the tomatoes and tying them up i felt like it would just give more airflow and i can easily reach the roots i'm going to bring these nasturtiums in today and just put them in our salad and then when the plant really starts producing which typically happens for me i am going to use it in a different way so stay tuned for that this honestly just gets washed off and thrown in a salad very easy i've been getting some questions about those beans that we planted we have 28 bean plants that germinated woohoo uh very excited about that and i'm loving the sunflower remember i was going to remove it but it's really creating some shade and as you can see a lot of these don't need to move themselves upward you can see they collapse on each other whenever yeah but almost uh whenever you know it just gets too hot for them so in colorado it gets very very warm i'm hoping to find some sort of shade for these beds but we shall see as you can see they just get so sad you know sad in the heat and they're not dead i don't have any squash bugs yet but it's just yeah it's so hot that sun is intense hey friends welcome back i have a bit have a garden problem and I'm gonna take you along with me we're gonna try and fix it but this bed right here not enough nitrogen not a lot producing these two beds 
they have chicken compost in them and I ran out so that bed doesn't have it and I think that is what's going on so I do have some regular soil in here let's see if it will yeah I'm in the dark garage some regular soil in here and my plan is to just clean the chicken coop out put it in my wheelbarrow here mix it with my soil and some water and just sprinkle it lightly on top of the rows and I'm hoping it works I don't know if it will uh and you know this is just part of gardening so again that bed was kind of extra i had some salty acre seeds in there so it was just an experimental bed we're not like taking a huge hit but i you know i want to save it as best as i can so that is the plan i do have two hens that are being super aggressive towards me lately so we will see if they even allow me to be in there but um yeah fingers crossed let's go i'm coming in don't be jerks you hear me? Right, you gotta go in. Okay, you two, you have to, oh, there's an egg there. You two have to go in for a little bit while I clean. And you can leave the area, thank you. You have strawberry on you. Get out. I have so much to do. I don't know why you're all crowding in here. Come on now. Shoo. Shoo. Get out. I gotta clean in here. It's disgusting. Go. Wednesday, take them out. Go ahead. You got it. It's a shovel. It's a shovel. You got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Okay. I'll move the shovel. Wednesday, some tough duck you are. Go out. Say, uh, oh my gosh. Go. It's a wheelbarrow. You got it. You got it. Skedaddle. Holy cow. Dolly, please. Ridiculous. Mama, did you go on one of those eggs to do today, Mama? Yeah, I think so. Dolly. Nothing's happening in here for you, so What's instead that? of being in the way, Dolly. What a ridiculous chicken. Hmm. Dolly? Yeah. You have to listen to Mama. Please don't peck me. Yeah, you big meanie. Yeah, you big meanie. You peck my mom sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that's super mean. Mama, do you ate? Do the dolly and the egg, uh, eggs come out of their box, mommy? Yeah. Uh, why, why, mama? I can't touch one of those because it comes out of butt. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, now I, now I touch those. I hope not. No, I touched one when I was going to go get those eggs. Yeah, we got to touch them. them. But then we wash our hands, right?
So all that chicken compost is in the garden bed and I'm going to see and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed for me. But I did want to show you this haul. I get a lot of questions about how I'm going to stock up on the cheap and this is it. Shop clearance when you can and put it in the freezer and that is my goal. Sometimes I make jams out of these berries here. We need a black peppercorn so I'm putting that in here. But there are a lot of things on sale at Kroger for me, luckily. I know not everyone has Kroger, but I know Walmart has designated one of their aisles as an entire clearance aisle. I'm pretty sure that's just like across the board here. But my other idea for you is just to look into some local farms, see if their CSA programs are on the cheap, and see if you can contribute. You could even volunteer at some of my local farms if you have a few hours to spare and then you can get some free veggies, but there's food out there. You just have to look for it. So I did want to just mention this in here. I'm kind of just going through and showing you what we have. I also can't forget about my chickens. They love little banana treats, especially frozen on some hot days, but we do have feed that we've been stocking up on. I'm growing a ton of sunflowers so they can munch on that throughout the winter, but I found a lot of meat today. I went to Kroger pretty early with the girls and I had to fend off some elderly people, but I got in there and got the goods. That's why I brought Delilah, so she can be a cute distraction while I sneak in and get all the sales. But Kroger does have a lot of deals. I'm sure your local market may have some as well, but this is really where I find majority of the deals. So I got some farm-raised salmon. It has been a hot minute since I've bought farm-raised, but I figured it's better than nothing, and we're trying to stock the freezer. And then I got some ribs. All of this meat, except for the chicken, because I'm going to cook that tonight, is going to go right into the freezer. I was fortunate enough to find Wish Garden tinctures on sale. I got Happy Ducks and some Milk Rich, and it has some goat's roux in there. It's just good for uh, breast milk production, uh, random fact, if you needed any. So I'm very happy with this. Thank you for being here today. I'm going to go ahead and put this away, but I know today was random. I just kind of wanted to compile some clips together about what's going on in the garden, what I'm doing to preserve the harvest, and some ways that you can save some money in your household. So I hope you enjoyed it. I have plenty of hauls coming up here soon. Let me know what you want to see down in the comment box below. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, y'all.